Hey everybody, it is Katie. I am six weeks pregnant today. I am thrilled to be here for another vlog. I started off the week feeling really bad. I just kept having bad dreams and just, um, I don't know, I just kept having a bad feeling about things. Um, but we had a really good week. We just had really good, really good times, really good days. You know, I'm, I'm still here, so I'm feeling better. By the end of the week, I've been feeling just better about the future of things. Um, symptoms, so um, the main thing is fatigue and exhaustion again. Um, I have been waking up like to go to the bathroom at around somewhere between 2.30 and 4 in the morning and then I can't go back to sleep. And I can't go back to sleep until around 6 which is when Alice wakes up. So that's been really tough. I've just been really, really tired in the morning. Uh, it's hard for me to get going, all that stuff. And I know that that's going to last for probably many more weeks. I still have sore nipples and I still don't know if that's quite a symptom or if it is thrush so I'm treating myself for thrush anyway using gentian violet and garlic um, but it doesn't seem to be getting like totally better so I think that it also is just a pregnancy symptom um, that sensitivity and soreness. I'm definitely less bloated this week um, but my back has been sore, my low back and the main thing this week is that I have started getting morning sickness. Um, I haven't thrown up but I'm getting queasy, I'm getting like nausea and it's it's every morning um, it's been for the past several days again it's just like it's really hard to get moving when I'm just like I just feel like really touch and go like do I need to run to the bathroom right now or what the first day I noticed this I told Mike and he got all excited like good that, that's got to be something good right you know I'm glad you're not feeling well essentially um, yeah I, I guess I'm glad too it's a little bit different because like I said I've been getting sick I've been feeling sick in the mornings and with Alice, I would only feel sick um, at night, like towards the end of the day, just as I started getting tired. Um, I only threw up, I think, once with her, and it was because I actually had the flu. Um, it wasn't from morning sickness. But, I don't know, I feel like this has also come on earlier in the pregnancy. I feel like with Alice, I didn't have the nausea until more like eight or nine weeks. Um, I might just be remembering incorrectly, but um, I feel like already this pregnancy is quite different. So going forward into this next week, I'm going to be figuring out sort of what's going to help my nausea and building my arsenal. I've been just doing like ginger water and taking vit extra vitamin B6 still. Um, that helps with nausea. So I don't know. We'll see what else, what else works. I have had some food aversions, which I think is related. Um, just any kind of heavy food, any kind of like really heavy sweets or greasy stuff has just sounded terrible to me and I've um, not wanted it. When my parents were here. We were doing lots of baking. We made cupcakes so that Alice could decorate them. And they brought me my favorite kind of toffee from Cleveland. Um, but I just haven't wanted to touch any of it. Just anything heavy just really turns me off, you know, because it, it wouldn't be good for my stomach. Um, the things that are appealing to me are just fruits and vegetables and eggs, especially clementines. We got a five pound box and they are almost gone. Um, Alice and I both are just like rolling through them. With Alice, my big craving through the whole pregnancy was pink grapefruits. I had at least a whole entire grapefruit every day. And I haven't had quite that grapefruit craving yet, but um, clementines are pretty close. So I think citrus, I don't know, I think also just like the vitamin C um, helps with your iron absorption and stuff, which is probably something I need right now. So that is where I'm at uh, food-wise. I have a my first appointment tomorrow at um, the midwife clinic, the midwife that I used for Alice's birth, my pregnancy with Alice and her birth. Um, it was a certified nurse midwife um, associated with the hospital. She only does hospital births. And that's not necessarily the direction I want to go. Um, I'm going to sort of see how this pregnancy goes and, you know, sort of what type of birth I um, am able to do. But I am planning to just kind of get the ball rolling and go back to that clinic. And I don't, I don't actually remember what the first prenatal appointments are like, if they order labs or what. But um, I feel like if they do, that might be something that can put me at ease and just allow me to kind of um, bank on this pregnancy a little bit more. I feel more, more confident, more relaxed. I found out when I made the appointment that my the midwife I actually used, who I really liked, um, she is actually leaving the practice. So I don't know if that means she's leaving town. Maybe she's going to do non-hospital births, which would be awesome. Um, I don't know. So I'm, I'm going to go to the appointment and just kind of find out what the deal is. So tomorrow's appointment is just the beginning of the exploration of our options because pretty much everything is on the table at this point. When my parents were here this week, we did decide, decide to tell them about the pregnancy. Um, I felt a bit nervous about doing it. Uh, ideally, we would have waited a few more weeks, at least, but uh, I just felt like it was appropriate to kind of have that experience in person. And they are also cautious, but, you know, are, of course, super excited. 
Alice is their first grandchild, so um, this will be their second. Here she is. Hi. So we were celebrating, but kind of, you know, with, with a grain of salt still at this point. I am really happy to be ending this week on a much more like positive note and with a better attitude. The best thing about this past week is that uh, my parents helped me work on some backyard projects that we've been working on for a really long time. And the space is really starting to come together as something that we enjoy being in and works for us. There's a lot of activities for Alice. One of the things that we did was, um, well, I say me, but really my dad built a chalkboard, like an outdoor chalkboard. She has one um, inside in our kitchen, but uh, I'll show it, probably show you someday. Um, I still need to paint it with the chalkboard paint, but uh, we built like the, the board and the frame and everything. And then we have our sandbox and we have um, a couple of nice like umbrellas to shade the patio and we've got plants going and it just feels like a really good space. It was a little strange that as we were working on this stuff I wasn't thinking about you know enjoying this space so much in a couple months this summer um, but I was really just um, having all these visions of having two kids back here and what Alice would be doing while the baby is you know playing in the grass or something just I, just I really kind of can envision what this house will be like with two kids and I can picture that and it just feels really good so that was the best thing checking things off our to-do list and kind of looking towards the future thank you all for watching and I'll see you for seven weeks Bye bye.